the Kurdish-dominated Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, supported by the US-led coalition's Air Power, Artillery and Special Operations Forces, established full control over the city of Raqqa, following a series of successful advances at the Al Naim and Al Dala roundabouts, the National Hospital, the Municipal Stadium, as well as other points in the city centre. According to pro-SDF sources, up to 40 members of ISIS were killed and 37 terrorists surrendered to the SDF on the final day of the operation. Following the final push in Raqqa, a US Department of State spokesperson announced that the US will assist and take essentially the lead in bringing back the water, electricity and all of that. The United States and our allies have prepared for next steps and will continue to work with partners to provide humanitarian assistance to those in need and support the stabilization efforts in Raqqa and other liberated areas, Heather Nowat told journalists. In other words, the US may try to turn the SDF-held area in northeastern Syria into a US-controlled puppet state. The Syrian Arab Army SAA Tiger Forces cleared the western Euphrates bank between Mayadin and Deir Zor from ISIS terrorists. Some pro-government sources speculated that the Tiger Forces even crossed the Euphrates and entered Diban and Rukai, but these reports still have to be confirmed. Meanwhile, the SAA continued to develop momentum in the area of Deir Zor city. The SAA established control of Junaina and engaged ISIS in the northern part of the city. The fighting is ongoing. In the eastern Salamir countryside, government forces cleared the entire pocket that had been held by ISIS. Now, the SAA will be able to redeploy some of the units operating in the area to other front lines, most likely to Deir Zor.